What's up, guys? It's Dan again, Crypto Camacho. And wow, what chart am I looking at? What chart is this? You would think this was an altcoin, but this is not an altcoin. This is Dodge. This is Dodgecoin. And it shot up recently. Huge surge from about eight cents, about eight and a half cents, all the way up to about 13.5, right? That's about 56% Dodge has gone up just in the last probably day or two. So it's really shot up. If we look out, zoom out on the weekly chart, We're look at Dodge. We have a long way to go in this bull market for Dodge to really reach its all-time highs of about 75 cents, and we are just getting started. But today, I don't want to talk about Dodge. I don't want to talk about Dodge at all. I actually want to talk about DRC20. What are DRC20 tokens? What, what is that exactly, right? What is doggy market? I'm going to talk about doggy market. I'm going to talk about Doginals, the drc-20.org marketplace that is popping up and that is sure to make waves in the crypto space. But let's go back really quick to the Dodge chart. So Dodge is a popular meme coin, has been for a number of years now. It's been around for a while. Elon Musk is kind of a, 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 a proponent of Dodge. It's kind of the darling of Elon Musk. If you remember back in the day, he mentioned it on Twitter and it shot way, way, way up to the moon. Well, we're just getting started in this bull run. But like I said, today, I don't want to talk about Dodge. Today, I want to talk about DRC20 tokens and ordinals, right? And if you don't know what that is, let's do a quick review. And this is why I'm starting with Dodge, because I'm going to show you why DRC20 tokens, Doggy, other ordinal tokens that are in that marketplace have the potential to, to, to give the highest returns during this bull market. I mean, they're brand new. They are brand new and they're really, really exciting. So first let's talk about what are ordinals. Let's jump over to ordinals, okay? What are ordinals? Bitcoin NFTs explain. Ordinals are means of creating Bitcoin NFTs by attaching data such as images, videos, and more on an individual Satoshi on the base of the Bitcoin blockchain. So it's basically a way to attach information to the blockchain through what are called inscriptions. So you can inscribe information on the blockchain and then retrieve it later as if it as if it was natively on the blockchain. So it doesn't natively originate from the blockchain, but is inscribed on the blockchain and can be retrieved later. So it's just as good as being on the blockchain, right? For example, launched on Bitcoin mainnet by developer Casey Rattamore on January 20th, 2003. So relatively new. Ordinal NFTs are simply the latest way to create NFTs on Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin. You've probably heard of BRC20s, but this is DRC20s, right? So what's been happening after people have figured out how to do these inscriptions on blockchains? They've done it now with a number of other blockchains. They've done it with Dodge. They've done it with BSV. They've done it with a number of different chains. And these BRC, uh, BS, uh, what is it? BR, uh, BSV, BRC404, ERC20 is the Ethereum standard. Um, so forth and so on. And now we have a DRC20 token standard for Dodge, right? And I'm going to go through that really quickly right here. What is the DRC20 token standard? The arrival of the DRC20 standard marks major progress in the Dodgecoin chain, signaling its transition from a meme-based cryptocurrency to a more functional and versatile blockchain platform. That is huge news, right? Dodge has always been a meme coin. Now it's becoming more functional like other blockchains that can actually store and retrieve information over time, right? That's that's huge for Dodge. And Dodge scales up pretty pretty nicely and the market cap of Dodge is enormous, right? You have some of the big three. You have, you have Dodge, you have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, you have a couple other, Solano, you have a couple other very, very big market cap blockchains. Um, Dodge is certainly one of those and people know that as kind of a household name at this point. The, this token standard makes it possible to manufacture interchangeable tokens such as the popular ERC-20 standard on Ethereum, yet tailored to the Dogecoin environment, right? So it's always been quite expensive to create um, ERC-20 tokens on Ethereum, right? They're kind of the first to have programmable money, if you will, and programm programmability on the blockchain Ethereum has, but it's very expensive. Gas is very expensive. And in order to create millions of coins or to mint millions of coins on ERC-20, on that blockchain, on the Ethereum blockchain, it's been very expensive for the normal kind of average Joe to do that. This all changes with Dogecoin. It all changes with these new protocols that are coming out. And I'm going to show you how that's a huge opportunity here coming up in a moment. Fungible tokens are interchangeable and hold equal value, making them suitable for various uses within the network, from digital currencies to shares and decentralized applications such as dApps, NFTs, so forth, right? One of the key aspects of DRC20 is its ability to support non-fungible tokens, NFTs. 
This integration enables the tokenization of digital items or materials such as digital art, collectibles, and so on, furthering the use of Dogecoin beyond its original purpose. Integrating NFT abilities within the Dodge eco Dogecoin ecosystem provides new opportunities for creators and artists to use the platform for digital possession and monetization. Okay, so let's let's see how this has been evolving. Um, I want to I want to read one more one more piece here because I think this is quite important. Um, the DRC twenty standard was developed to improve upon the constraints of prior token standards, offering faster transaction speeds and diminished transaction fees, right? That's been a huge issue with Ethereum is the network has been clogged. It's been very expensive. The price of gas goes up whenever you want to use it. And it's frankly ridiculous to have to use ERC-20. And even to use gas, it's getting, it's getting ridiculous. I don't even really like Ethereum that much because it's too expensive to actually use as a utility. So it, it, I like this standard better. These upgrades not only make the Dogecoin network more enjoyable for users, very much so, but also make it more competitive within the crypto environment. Accelerating transactions and decreased costs, costs are important elements that entice developers and users alike, contributing to the network's overall allure and usability. All right, so this is insane, guys. So as you're seeing Dogecoin shoot through the roof, as you did in the last few days, it's going to continue to shoot through the roof. People that are onboarded onto Dogecoin are going to start looking at other means to use their Dogecoin. Like, what do you do with hundreds of thousands of Dogecoin, right? Well, you can go over to the doggy market and you can buy Dodge or DRC20 NFTs, tokens, so forth and so on. They have their own exchanges. I'll jump back into this in one more moment here. I want to go back here. DRC20 offers fast transactions, low fees, and Dogecoin specific supporting fungible tokens on the NFTs. This is going to be important. This comes from OKX, which is an exchange that has recently popped up, which is supporting a lot of these different uh, alternative protocols that are coming up. It's an exchange. It's a very nice exchange. It's very well built. Check it out. Go to OKX and, and check it out, right? But these coins, I am predicting that they will be listed on OKX very soon. You saw the documentation we just looked at from OKX. They're starting to talk about DRC20. They've talked about BSV20. They've talked about BRC20. They've listed BRC20 tokens, right? They've listed ERC20 tokens. Why wouldn't they eventually list DRC20 tokens, all right? So that brings me all the way to Doggy Market. Well, let's go over to let's go to uh, Doggy Market, all right? Doggy Market is one of the platforms that has popped up. They have Dodge Maps, they have NFT collections, they have DRC20 coins. If you look down here, the DRC20 coins, these are tokens just like Ethereum tokens, right? But on the Dodge chain, on the Dodge DRC20 protocol blockchain, and they are starting to make waves. Doggy is four cents. You could have actually created this ticker um, you know, months back on your own. You could have minted it for mere cents and you could have uh, now seen this at $4.05. And it's only going to accelerate. It's accelerating rapidly, actually. And you'll see some of these other ones going up as well. Market caps and volumes are also growing. But let's really quickly, I'll go back to this marketplace in a minute. But I want to show you one of the, the main marketplaces where you can buy, sell, mint, and inscribe DRC20s. It's actually very interesting, right? So if you go over to this uh, drc 20 uh, .org marketplace. You'll see a marketplace, launchpad, inscribe, labradogs, explore, balances, and so on, right? I'm going to go over to explore. So if you go over to the explorer here, you're going to see that these are a number of coins that have been minted. They've been created out of thin air and they're now tradable or mintable. They're still being created the, you know, to this date. What you do is you get Dodge coins, you send them over to the wallet that you create on uh, this DR DRC20 marketplace. You create a wallet, you transfer your Dodge coins to that wallet, and then you can go ahead and start trading or start minting, right? So real quick, before I start talking about trading, I wanna start talking about minting really quick. A lot of these coins have just recently been created and have not even been minted out yet at all, right? You can see the total supply. You can see the name, the ticker, the price. Many of these are zero because they were just created. You can see the 24 and seven day percentage change. And you can see the volume, the circulating supply, the number of holders, which is very important. And then the actions, wh whether they're tradable or if they're, they're mintable. If they're just trade, that means they've been minted out and people have already created and minted all of these tokens. And now they're ready to be traded. A lot of these tokens have not been minted yet, right? You can see a ton there. If I go over to um, um, 
and, and one thing I really like um, are the number of holders, right? So the number of holders is quite important. It's how many people are already holding these coins in a wallet. And that signifies the popularity of the coin, the, the strength, the relative strength of the coin, um, so forth and so on. And we're just getting started with this ecosystem. It's a brand new ecosystem, guys. Remember that cryptocurrencies are somewhat money created almost out of thin air, right? They're created out of, um, out of, out of fiat currencies that you put towards the blockchain and you show some sort of value, but then these things are created and these marketplaces are popping up left and right to be tradable. All right. So let's go over and let's show you real quick. How do you actually mint one of these coins? You go over to inscribe and you click on the ticker. If the ticker is not available, it's not going to pop up. But let's just start with G, all right? Anything with G. So these are all the tickers that have not been minted out. You can still get in early and mint any of these tick, uh, tickers, you know, as ever you want. You put in the ticker, you put in the amount that you want to mint, let's just say a thousand, you pop in your wallet address right here. Uh, let's see, let's pause. You pop in your wallet address right here, you click confirm, and then it goes to actually inscribe or create a record of that, that exact mint against that ticker. Um, you confirm it, and then it's a legitimate transaction on the Dodge blockchain, right? It costs very little to do this. So I said that I wanted to create 1,000 of these. It's costing me 25 Dodge to do that or $3. I'm not going to go and confirm this right now, but essentially if you wanted to mint this, you would go all the way through the process and you would mint it out and pay this fee. And then those would be transported to your uh, your Dodginals wallet here, okay? So that is how you mint a, a particular coin. Let's go back to Inscribe. Um, Let's see here, going a little bit slow here today. Let's go back to inscribe. If you wanna deploy a ticker, a ticker that hasn't been already created, which many of them ha have already been created, right? But let's just say why, 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 why? Don't think that one's already been created. And then you'd create, you'd create your ticker. You'd say what supply you wanted, right? I'm gonna say 21 million. And the number of, the limit that people can mint. So there's a limit, I'll just say 5,000 for the sake of this uh, right now. You put in your address right here, same type of thing. And then you go through and you can actually deploy this new ticker with a total supply and a limit per mint. And then you can start minting against that new ticker that was created. Why am I telling you all this? Because guys, anybody can go and do this right now. And this is a whole new ecosystem that's popping up. This is what Bitcoin was meant to do, right? To create the ability to create value, to create networks, to create um, these different types of, uh, um, uh, uh, what do they call them? Networks, I would just say. Um, and these different types of tradable assets, if you will, on chain that have a record and that can be limited in supply to hold value over time, right? Now, now this is very, very fascinating. So if we go over to Explorer again, I've already showed you how you can, uh, you know, look at what's been minted, what's tradable, how many holders, you know, how, what's the supply and so on. Let's go over to the marketplace right here. If we jump to the marketplace, so this is just getting started, right? If you go over that, here's the NFTs that are all being created on here. And the prices are, are pretty sizable at this point, right? If you go over to DRC20, these are the coins that have been created and are actually gaining traction, right? Doggy, Huge traction. It's already huge, huge traction, right? It's already got an $8 billion uh, volume. That's insane. It's got a $77 million, sorry, an $8 billion in Dodge volume, right? Okay. But market cap, it has a $77 million in market cap of, of doggy, right? So these aren't just like play money. They're not play coins. There's real, real money behind all of these. And you could kind of go down the list and see these different coins popping up all over the place. Many of them right now are still at 0% and have huge potential. These haven't been listed on any major exchanges yet, but it is coming. It is coming, likely to OKX pretty soon, but it is coming. So what you do is you can click into Doggy. Let's say if you wanna buy Doggy, and then you can see here, you connect your wallet, and then you can actually just buy Doggy. Right now, they're sitting at 3.66 um, each for one doggy, and you could buy a thousand of them here for three thousand dollars. And this is the lowest, right? So you can go through these marketplaces. The price goes up as you get to a lower volume amount. These are kind of clunky ways to buy clunky exchanges right now, but they actually work quite nicely. They're not your traditional, um, you know, centralized exchanges yet, but it, that is where this is headed, and that's why this is so exciting because it is headed there very, very soon. All right, so there's even more that you can buy. A lot, a lot of different coins, which I'm actually stacking up on some of these early on, hoping to uh, make a pretty penny from them in the near future here.
Now let me jump over to doggy market because doggy market's pretty interesting. It seems like the prices are a little bit low, lower on doggy market, generally speaking. Let's go and search for um, FIWB, right? One of those very popular coins. Again, very same thing, it uses a different wallet, but you can go and buy these different coins that are popping up. This one's gone down a bit in the last you know, little while. Let's go look at Doggy. Doggy's actually gone up just slightly. It's at 376 over here. And over on Dodge Ordinals, it's about 367. Um, slightly different prices here. Um, and so you can play the arbitrage if you want. Um, but man, there are so many opportunities. Let's say Musk, um, volume, you know, token number of holders. There's 26,000 people that are holding this Musk token. That's a, that's a pretty big network of people, right? You can get in pretty early and pretty cheaply right now for a lot of these things. So Anyway, the reason now this brings me all the way back to where we started with Dogecoin going up, right? As the Dodge ecosystem grows during this bull run and people buy Dodge coins, what do you think they're going to do with their Dodge coins? They don't want to just sit on them and hodl them forever, right? They're going to want to go buy things with them. They're going to go over to Doggy Market. They're going to go over to Dodge Explorer, uh, Dodge General Explorer. They're going to go to OKX when they list, and they're going to buy these DRC20 tokens, guys. All right. So very, very important. Very important. I hope you like this video, guys. This is quite, quite interesting stuff. Um, I will end this by, you know, doing a little, little snapshot on this doggy marketplace here. I'm so excited about this. I think that the potential is absolutely enormous. Um, my mind is blown when I even think about what the potential is here. And these are popping up all over the place, guys. It's unleashing Bitcoin to its true potential, what it's supposed to actually do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. Let me know what you think in the comments about Doggy, about Dodgenal, about DRC20 tokens. Huge, huge opportunity now, guys. Don't fade this. Don't fade this or you will regret it. See ya.